NHS England have released an outline proposal of what they want the CCG assurance framework to look like, with the final version being released in the autumn. However, before then, they've stated an intention to use the outline proposal to assess CCGs at two key checkpoints in July and October. So, what's it actually going to look like? Well, at the moment, there are three key strands to it. The first one is delivery, um, and it's intended that this will be assessed on a quarterly basis. So this will look at the CCG's performance generally, any opportunities to collaborate with NHS England in respect of its direct commissioning functions, um, any complaints data and any other performance data which might already be publicly available. The second strand is their capability. So this will look at um, how capable they are at delivering their core functions. And this, luckily for CCGs, is actually going to be based on the CCG authorisation process that they've recently gone through. So it will be fairly familiar. And so it's likely to include site visits, 360 degree surveys, some element of self-certification and peer reviews as well. And the third strand is based on support. So this will be an ongoing process where CCGs are asked what support they need. And the idea is, is that this will be as tailored as possible to their needs. Um, at some point, it may require CCGs to provide evidence to NHS England of their performance, but it has to be said that the trigger for intervention is likely to be really quite high.